work on uh, defending their guards, but just I mean, how much of a tough matchup is Oklahoma State's guard? Smart, does a little bit of everything. Forte shoots, Brown gets to the gets to the basket. Uh, how much of a challenge is this compared to what else you've had to defend against this season? Well, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think they scored 63 of their 80 or something like that. Something ridiculous like that. They're hard to guard. I mean, they, because they can spread you so much. And, well, I'm sorry. Forte, Forte has such great range uh, that, that he really spreads you. I mean, you think you kind of you got him, and he just steps a couple steps back. And Browns, Browns is probably as good athlete as the reason. So they're good. They're good. They're good. Yeah. And it still comes down to smart next plays. That's probably the best three guards in the world. Is he the top freshman, do you think? I don't know. I think it depends on the day. Homer McElmore, maybe. McElmore's pretty good. Just a barrage of questions today. <laughs> you guys have had your issues with the quote unquote pure shooters, Spradling, Heslip, obviously Forte. You know, talking to Jabari, he said a lot of that is just guys helping off of a, a guy when they shouldn't. Is on ball defense denying dribble penetration so you don't have to help that much more critical in a game like this because of what he can do? On ball defense is critical anytime. Right. But you, but you don't necessarily have to help off of guys that are going to make shots. Right. Here. And you don't help off ball side guys. And we've done that a like, hundred times it seems like. You don't you don't have to help. I mean that's what that's what weak side helps for. Just uh, for whatever reason. Not uh, follow the scout that far. Contrast the first few minutes of the game that you had against them the first time with, with what went wrong after. What was the, the key to the hot start that you guys had and, and what sort of devolved from that point? Um, they, I think they tried to, they initially tried to come out and get us and we spread them and back out them and Dennis played well. Second part of it, we just gave him the ball. We had a freshman taking the ball out of bounds, and I didn't recognize the out of bounds play because I don't think we were in one. So we threw him the ball, and then they threw a, a little kind of almost token pressure at us, and we gave it to him. And then we drove through pressure and shot a layup that hit the bottom of the backboard, which led to a breakaway dunk. And Up to play. We didn't. We didn't have and handle sometimes adversity very well. And then we just missed a bunch of shots. And we missed shots by guys that were making shots. Bob, is there a time when you've handled adversity well this year? I'm trying to think of when you've... <laughs> well, when you have to think that hard, then yeah. it's, we, we, we probably haven't done it very well. Is that, is that a product of, I don't know, of the roster or the youth or... You know, I was thinking this morning, if, 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 we, really, if we really look back, I mean, we were there, we had the Connecticut game one, first round of the Big East tournament, we just handed it to them. Uh, same guys. Uh, it's, it's the same guys. And you, you know, you, you say, you know, well, they're sophomores, and last year we said, well, they're freshmen, and you know, they're, they'll get better. And, they, and they, you know, they've got to get better. Right? Because we have, we have uh, constantly kind of just, 
given the ball to people for some unexplained reasons. I mean, if you remember the Connecticut game, we were just standing there holding the ball, and, and, and Napier ran, just stole it from us out of our hands twice and went shot of laps, which is kind of unexplainable. And there were a lot of those. There were a lot of those kind of things that happened to the same guys a year ago, and they're the same guys that we're playing now. I don't know if that's it. You know, I don't know that. I don't know that's adversity. I think it's it's. We did it in the Texas Tech game. You know, you get ahead and then you just, you just kind of relax and stop playing. And I think the thing that we've been pretty good at here is that we 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 have really been pretty consistent on trying to play every play. You know, don't take plays off. Guys would constantly talk about let's don't take plays off. And this group has taken plays off on a consistent basis. Is there anything you can try to correct that yet that you haven't already tried before? No, but I'm open to suggestions. It comes it, it, I mean, it's got to come down to. They wouldn't, I don't think, mind me telling you this. I mean, Day took some plays off when he was a sophomore. You know, and he wasn't, he wasn't in the kind of physical condition that he eventually got himself into. And, and he was, he was a sophomore. And, and as, as he got, you know, the following year and the year after that, I mean, he didn't do the things he did when he was a sophomore. He didn't take plays off. The Oklahoma game at, in Charleston, I remember. You know, this guy gets, gets five points and two possessions, and he just kind of was taking the play off. NCAA tournament, you know, and you, but you talk to him, and, and he really took it to heart. And I, and I think that's that's where these guys have got to get to. It's not like they don't know. It's not like they haven't heard it. I mean, they they kind of regurgitate everything that, that coaches say right back to you guys. You know, it sounds, sounds good, but... I mean, do they mean it? 